Hi everybody, it's Terry, your Pamper Chef Consultant. I've got the apron on, that means we're cooking today. So today I'm going to make a broccoli cauliflower soup. Um, I prefer cream soup, so I'm making with a little bit of milk and I'm throwing in some potatoes to thicken it. So it's a nice thick soup. So we've got our deluxe cooking blender here. Now this isn't going to just warm the soup. This is actually going to cook. It's going to cook the cauliflower, it's going to cook the broccoli and potato, and it's going to come together in the most delicious soup you've ever had. So I've got my milk and my chicken broth here measured out in my silicone prep bowl. And I love these bowls because they're flexible. So I can make sure I don't spill, which is my normal bad habit. I slop everything everywhere. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to use my salt and pepper grinder that I got from Pamper Chef because these things are not only elegant looking, but they also have an adjustable coarse or fine grind. Easy to add. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flake just for a little bit of uh, color when it's done. Oh, sorry, this is when it's time. I want about a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. You don't want much. And I want about a tablespoon of dried parsley or fresh if you have it. There goes that. Next thing we have all of our vegetables measured. And I'm going to scrape these into the bowl and hopefully without uh, dropping all of them, like that one. There we go. I told you I drop everything. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> so I'm just going to plop out the first few <laughs> until some of them are out. Pardon my fingers, I promise. I've just finished washing dishes so my hands are clean. I really do promise. So I'm going to carefully take the rest of them out with my favorite little spatula, my little mini serve, or er, mix and scraper. That's what they call. This little thing, actually, of all spatulas, and I'm a spatula nut, this is my favorite. I actually bought two of them because every time I was looking for it to use it, one was in the sink because I just finished using it. I uh, don't know if we're going to fit all you guys in there. And there's another thing landing on the floor. So I've got six cups of vegetables in here. I've got uh, about uh, three cups of cauliflower, a cup and a half of broccoli, about a cup of potato, some onion, a little bit of garlic, and that's what's going to whiz through here. One and a half cups of chicken broth, one cup of milk. And then all of those other seasonings while I pick up everything off my floor. So from here, all I have to do is pop on the lid. It's going to lock into place. Make sure it's locked. I'll bring you over to show this. So I've got it locked into place. I'm going to turn the switch on at the side. Oops. I'm going to plug it in and turn the switch on at the side. You gotta love live. Hey, everything happens when you're on live. So, turn it on. It's going to say custom blend. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to turn it to soup, soup setting. It says smoothie, alternate milk, grind, nope. Heated wash, nope. By the way, this thing does clean itself. If there was ever anything that would sell it, a self-cleaning feature, yeah, you gotta go for that. Soup, it's going to, if you can see that flashing, 212, that means it's actually going to boil it. And start. Away it goes, all by itself. Okay. So from here, I walk away, 30 minutes later, my soup is done. Can you get any easier than that? Seriously, you got to have this thing.